based on the UN Security Council Resolution 1325, it was evident that women are largely excluded in peace-building processes, even though they bear the brunt of violent conflict. But then, when it comes to people sitting down to resolve this conflict, due to patriarchal cultural practices, we say women should step aside, it's only the men that can take decisions. We seek as international alerts through our various experiences to ensure that we do not leave anyone behind. We want to work together with the people, with the women, and especially the men. Because as you're conscious, it is our men folk that change our society and provide us the platform as women to make the decisions that will result in sustainable peace and development. This government is brave enough to say this is the situation, to be able to find brave solutions to these processes. I want to assure you all that expanding our mutual relationship with your organization will reveal a positive impact to the lives of our women, especially those added in the rural areas. We hope that um, some of the support uh, that we've been providing, which uh, has extended to include um, support for the Bauchi state legislators, the judiciary, security agencies, and so on, can be extended to other LGAs in the state. Seeing the launch here today, you are building exactly that bridge between the work in New York and what women, peace and security agenda is all about to increase women's participation with real people to the benefit of local communities. Women have always been the stabilizing factor. I am not a woman chauvinist, but I have always found women to be very, very reliable. But we as a government, we have recognized their own auspicious position as veritable partners in progress, and those upon whom a lot of violence is unleashed. And we tried as much as possible at all the strata to involve them, irrespective of the fact that they have not been voted into power. But as soon as we recognize that we give them responsibility at the various levels of governance, our security infrastructure today is manned by a woman. The permanent secretary of security in government house is a woman. Good ladies and gentlemen, it is indeed my pleasure and privilege to unveil this action plan on security for women and children in Bauchi to the glory of God and to the benefit of humanity and most importantly to our women folk. This is not a document that was given to any consultant to go home, make research, do dex reviews, and then publish back to the state. I am happy because most of the people, the stakeholders that we interacted with are even seated in this hall. Interestingly, people with disabilities for the first time have been carried in the state action plan. Across the nation, all around the world, women are longing to be free. No longer in the shadow, walk to stay behind. But side by side in true equality, so sing a song for women everywhere. Let it ring around the world and never, never, so sing a song for women everywhere. That we are ready, all the 31 members of Bochy State House of Assembly, that we will partner with the UN Women and International Alert and any organization that is willing to contribute towards helping and uh, good living of women in this country. Thank you very much for allowing us to continue to work with the people of Bauchi State and then we look forward to doing great work together with, with your government. We thank you very much, sir.